Hi guys, I'm Lazy Fox Girl and I'm a VTuber who streams from console. I've been using Lightstream for VTubing for about two years now, and people are usually pretty surprised when they find out that I'm streaming from my PlayStation. In this video, I'm gonna show you a couple options on how you can VTube with either a 2D or 3D model, as well as how to PNG tube from either your Xbox or PlayStation on PlayStation without a capture card. Lightstream now has simulcast, so not only can you stream to Twitch from your console, but you can also stream to all other platforms. All you need is your console of choice, a microphone that connects to a laptop or computer. This is so your VTuber or PNG tuber can respond to your microphone. A Lightstream gamer subscription and a webcam for 2D and 3D VTubing only. You do not need a webcam for a PNG tuber. As for an optional extra, you may want to use OBS as a virtual camera if you want to make your own background for your VTuber. However, most VTubing programs already include virtual cameras in their programs. First, you'll want to head to golightstream.com and select the gamer plan. There's a seven day free trial available on all plans. However, to stream from console, you absolutely need the gamer plan. This method works for both PlayStation and Xbox. You can reference the videos in the description below on how to set up Lightstream from your console. First, we're going to start with PNG tubing. What is PNG tubing? Well, it's a simplified version of VTubing using voice toggled images. I started PNG tubing using a free program called Vito Tube Mini, which is what I'm going to cover in this video. However, there's many different programs out there, such as PNG Tuber Plus, PNG Tuber Maker, and more. VitoTube I know uses very little resources, so this is perfect if you have a potato of a PC, like I did when I got started. So all you need are two images, one with the mouth opened for when you're talking, and a second with the mouth closed for when you're idle. If you want, you can also use GIFs. You can have, for example, a blinking image and a talking image, which is what I've used in the past. Once you have your two images, you can upload those files to VitoTube to get started. First, head over to VitoTube Mini, link in the description below, and download the program. Once VitoTube is open, you click the closed mouth button to add your idle image. Then you click the open mouth button to upload your talking image. If you want to change your background color, you can select from the few options here. Once your PNG tuber is set up, you'll want to head back into Lightstream to click the little green plus sign on the top left hand corner and then select the screen share window share option and choose your PNG tuber program to add it to the stream. Once your source is added, you can crop it up to the size that you want. If you would like to have your own background instead of the colored ones available, you can do this through OBS by using it as a virtual camera and bring it into Lightstream. First, you're going to add the background of your choosing in OBS and then add your PNG tuber by selecting the plus sign, choosing game capture and select capture specific window and then you select Vito Tube Mini. Make sure that you select allow transparency and then click OK. For the virtual camera to work, you have to select start virtual camera. Once this is done, you can go back into Lightstream, add your virtual camera. You do this by clicking the green plus sign Select camera, then scroll down until you see OBS virtual camera. Voila, you are now a PNG tuber. Up next, we have 2D VTubing. 2D VTubing uses a combination of art and animation tools, as well as motion and face tracking to bring your avatar to life. With this method, your VTuber will be able to mimic your movements and expressions rather than just toggling for microphone activity like the PNG tuber. Some common software used in the 2D VTuber creation process include Photoshop or similar art programs and Live 2D, which is a free rigging and animation tool for 2D art. If you're not much of an artist like myself, you can always commission an artist to draw your VTuber and then commission someone to rig it so it has movement. Or you can purchase a pre-created VTuber model, also known as adopting. There are lots of programs out there to bring your 2D VTuber to life, such as PRP Live, Animes, Face Rig, and VTube Studio. Uh, today I will be covering VTube Studio, which is 100% free and doesn't require a very strong computer in order to run it. Once you have your 2D model, you open up VTube Studio. Link in the description below. Once VTube Studio is open, you'll want to double click anywhere to open the menu options. To get started, you select the pink person icon on the left hand side of the app, which will display options at the bottom to either use one of the app's pre-made models or to import your own. The instructions on how to import your own are included in the prompt when you select that option here. For this video though, I'm going to be using one of their pre-mades. Once you have your VTuber open, you can set up your microphone and camera for face tracking by selecting the pink wheel icon on the left hand side. 
you set up your microphone, you scroll down to microphone settings and select the microphone you will be using. To set up your camera, you select the camera icon at the top left hand side and select which camera you will use. Once this is done, you turn on the camera option and you can calibrate to make sure your VTuber's facial movements match your own. VTuber Plus has a virtual camera option so you can bring your VTuber into Lightstream as the camera source without using OBS. You just need to scroll down to Virtual Camera Config and turn on your virtual camera. Once you're done with all your settings, you can exit back to the main screen by hitting the big red X button on the top right hand side. You are now ready to add your 2D VTuber to Lightstream. All you have to do in Lightstream is add your virtual camera. You do this by clicking the green plus sign, select camera, and then scroll down until you see VTube Studio Cam. Then you can resize and crop the camera to any size you want. That's it. You are now a 2D console VTuber. Well done. So that covers 2D, but what about 3D VTubing? A 3D VTuber, as the name suggests, uses a 3D model created in 3D modeling software. A free and beginner-friendly option is v Studio, which is what I use in combination with Unity. But you'll likely need to commission an artist and animator if you want the complete control and customization available in other software. But as I mentioned, v is a great and easy to use free do-it-yourself option. Once you have your 3D model ready to use, you can select which program you want to use to bring it to life. I would recommend looking into Vignan, link in the description below, if you have a more sophisticated setup, which is what I now use. But for easy console streaming, I'll be covering VC Face, which is a free and easy to use program I used for a very, very long time. Other options include but are limited to Leopit or Tracking World, just to name a few. Once you have your 3D VTuber, you will want to open up VC Face. Once you have your 3D model, you'll want to open up VC Face, link in the description below. To upload your model, you select the plus sign and choose your VTuber. You can then select it and it'll show up on the right hand side. Once you've done this, you can hit select and your VTuber will be loaded into VC Face. Here, you'll want to select Settings, then General Settings, and scroll down to Camera and Microphone to select which ones you'll be using to bring your VTuber to life. Once this is done, your model should move when you move and talk when you talk. VC Face also has its own virtual camera you can use to bring your VTuber into Lightstream as a camera source. To do this, you need to enable the virtual camera by going into Settings, General Settings, and then scroll down and select Enable Virtual Camera for this session. Then you'll need to upload a background of your choice. Once this is done, you're ready to add your virtual camera into Lightstream. As mentioned before, to add your virtual camera into Lightstream, you select the green plus sign on the top left hand side and select Camera. You then scroll down to VC Face Camera to select it and place it on your overlays. Voila, you are now a 3D VTuber. And that's it. There are links to the programs I mentioned in the description, and if you prefer a written tutorial, you can also check out my blog post there too. You're always welcome to contact me or the Lightstream support team if you have any questions. You can find my socials behind me and down in the description below. I stream on Sunday, Monday, Thursday, and Friday at 10.30 p.m. EST on Twitch. I hope to see you soon. Bye!